Hello and welcome to CBO Volatility 411. My name is Dan Deming and I'm with KKM Financial. We're looking at the VIX cash trending lower today, below the 30 handle, 29 half currently. We'll have to see if it holds there for the rest of the day, but nonetheless, trending lower. And when you look at the VIX cash this week, after Monday's spike, it really has been trending lower, even though intraday volatility continues to remain very elevated. I do want to point out that when you look at realized volatility from a closing basis, and that's typically how it's measured, week over week, it's at 16%. That's only up slightly for 30-day realized volatility. But nonetheless, we know why implied levels continue to stay elevated due to that intraday volatility within the markets. Looking at the at the money uh, straddle in the SPX, 24 half, uh, up three vol points from last week. So demand for those at the money options continues to remain elevated in the SPX. SIBO SKU index right around 132, pretty much right in the range for this past week, but that is the low end of the range for the SIBO SKU index really going back over the last year and a half. Looking at the uh, VIX futures, backwardation, uh, both to backwardation to cash and backwardation in the futures curve. However, we are seeing the futures curve shifting today to a little less backwardation as the front month futures are down more so than the back month futures. Looking at VBIX, measure implied volatility in the VIX options, 138. Now, this is an interesting dynamic. Now, we did see it spike earlier in the week, but this is lower than where it was trading last Friday. So this is the low end of the VBIX range, really, for the last six trading sessions. So we continue to see a little bit of demand coming out of those VIX options as we move through the week. And when you look at the activity in the VIX options this week, it's really centered around the February at now the money calls, March at now the money calls, and April at now the money calls. So a lot of action right around the at the money strikes when you look at the activity within the calls and the VIX options. Looking at next week, we have several factors I think will influence the vol structure. Certainly the volatility that the market's realizing on an intraday basis continues to influence the vol the most. But we have Fed speak next week. Now that they're done with their meeting, they'll be out. We have a lot of data points highlighted by the jobs report and earnings.